it's safe to say that the Super Mario Brothers movie did more than well. I mean, it literally just beat out Frozen 2 as the best animated film debut of all time. Not to mention that the Super Mario Brothers movie just hit 724 million sales at the global box office, and it hasn't even released in Japan yet. It doesn't come out until April 28th, which means the Mario movie is going to blast over a billion, which is just mind-blowing for an animated film, or really for most films at all. And this is just super exciting for us Nintendo fans, because it shows that Nintendo can make really fun movies for the fans, and that it doesn't matter what those stupid critics say, because we all had a blast and was able to relive our childhoods in the theater with a amazing theater experience. But enough about talking about this first movie, because yes, as it was amazing, I still think Nintendo has already begun brainstorming the next movie as well. It just makes sense. After all, they did have a post credit scene which alluded to a character coming. Spoiler alert, yeah, it's Yoshi. Of course, we know that all movies like to do this now, the post credit thing like Marvel does in order to set up a future movie, even if they're not even confirmed of making one. It's just something to hype fans up and get them excited to, you know, hope for and wish for another movie, but I think it's safe to say with these sales and just the general audience reception of this movie, it is without a doubt going to get a second film. Here on this channel, we've talked a lot about spinoff movies. We talked about how Luigi's Mansion movie would be so cool to introduce E.Gad and have King Boo be the big bad. We already have that kind of scaredy Luigi within Super Mario Brothers, so I would love to see him in his own role trying to save his brother in Luigi's Mansion. I mean, we can see just how much he loves his brother in the Mario Brothers movie, it just would make sense. And we've talked non-stop about a Donkey Kong movie, or Donkey Kong Country. How the Kong Island and Kingdom has been so expansive in this movie, there's so many different Kongs, they even have Diddy Kong and Dixie Kong, Chunky Kong, Cranky Kong, everyone pretty much was here, and I'm sure they could flush it out even more with the rest of the Kongs. It also just makes sense, just throw in King K. Rule, have a brand new plot, and have it focused on the Kongs, it would work perfectly. Today's video is not focused on the Kongs, it's not focused on Luigi's Mansion, it's not focused on any sort of spinoff, it's focused on the very next movie. What will the next movie be about? Well, our big indicator is Yoshi. Yoshi kind of has a big tie-in to the next movie for sure, but what do they want to tell with that story? Is it going to be primarily based on like Yoshi's Island, trying to find out where Yoshi comes from? Or maybe it's just going to take Mario and Yoshi on a grand adventure. I mean, it would make sense to have a movie based on the story and kind of theming of Super Mario World, where Mario first meets Yoshi and goes on this adventure to take out the Koopalings, which would also be a really great addition. And the next step I think Nintendo should take, add Bowser Jr. and the Koopalings, that would be really cool. The Koopalings have very unique personalities that go real well, I think, as far as villains. And in Color Splash, Paper Mario that is, they had some really flushed out personalities that really made them stand out, which I love, and I would love to see that in the movie. Each of them really do act like a different child of Bowser, even though they're technically not Bowser's children, and they're still kids trying to learn what the heck they need to do in order to take out Mario. Perhaps this is where we also see Bowser's airship fleet from Super Mario Bros. 3, and we get to see it fully flushed out like we see in some of the modern games where all the Koopalings have their own airship and Bowser maybe has one massive one instead of them all using this giant floating Bowser's Castle Island thing they did in Super Mario Brothers, I would love to see the airships make a return. As much as I think a Super Mario World themed movie would work really well as the sequel, I think they could go even bigger and still do the Super Mario Galaxy one, which would make a lot of sense as well. Also, considering the fact that Yoshi played a big role in Galaxy 2, so maybe Maybe they can just throw him in from the very beginning where Mario and Yoshi journey through space in order to help Peach or whatever they're doing this time around. I mean, one thing that I thought was very weird was the character inclusion of Lumily, how they were just there and there was no reason for Lumily to be there. We had no Mario Galaxy references and nothing with Rosalina coming back to get him or anything, so what's going on with this? Well, I think it'd be really cool if Lumily got stolen and we have to go find it somewhere or go save it because maybe Bowser realizes Lumily holds like an extreme power or something and he goes to space with Lumily in order to collect more Lumas so that could be a cool adventure but hey stop what you're doing real quick if you guys are enjoying this video make sure you leave a like and subscribe right now to stay up to date on all things the Mario Brothers movie and Nintendo in general it's that easy it's that simple it's that quick
Thanks guys, back to the video. Of course, there's always that possibility that Nintendo just might make a completely original story with Mario and Yoshi doing things that we did not expect at all. I mean, after all, look at what they did with the first movie. We had little references of Odyssey and stuff with Mario 64 and Mario 3D World and New Super Mario Brothers and all the classic Mario Brothers games all thrown together into one unique new story. So maybe they're gonna do the same thing here where maybe we can recognize references from past games, but no one particular game is going to be at the forefront. It's just going to be a mixture of the different games to tell a new story here. Now look, I know I said I'm not going to talk about spinoffs here, but I do want to bring up a possible one that could happen, which is Yoshi's Island, maybe telling a prequel as to what happened with Mario when he was a kid. Now I know a lot of people are going to say this just doesn't make sense, Nintendo Land, we know he's from Brooklyn, we've seen his family, so how would this ever work? Like, what is the deal with this? Well, maybe this is what happened. Remember when Peach was telling her backstory how when she was a child she was sent to the Mushroom Kingdom for some reason and she just grew up there and was able to kind of raise and lead the toads as well. Now consider this, what if Mario and Luigi actually accidentally been to the Mushroom Kingdom already? What if they've already crawled in or something happened when they were kids where they fell into the Mushroom Kingdom and the Yoshis were there to save them? And maybe baby Bowser had already seen them when he was younger, he just doesn't remember. And Yoshi had to save the day by bringing back baby Mario to the warp pipe to get back to Brooklyn in order to return them to their parents. I mean, that's generally the story that happens in Yoshi's Island in some sort. Now, there's no magical pipe that takes them back to the real world of Brooklyn, but the stork actually finally is able to drop off baby Mario and baby Luigi to their parents, so maybe they can kind of rewrite a story like this, and I think it would work really well maybe in a, the next Mario Brothers movie, not necessarily talking about the entire journey, that would be a spinoff movie, but just kind of having a quick flashback as to when Yoshi actually saw baby Mario and baby Luigi fall into the world for the first time. Like, this isn't their first time, and they find out from Yoshi, or at least from another Yoshi, since it looks like this one is just now hatching. Either way, I wouldn't be surprised if there were some references from Yoshi's Island within this next movie. I mean, we've already seen the Yoshi Kingdom with tons of the Yoshis running around, so I'm sure we're going to get a better look at this. And we'll probably even get to explore more of the kingdoms that we didn't last time, like the bob -omb Battlefield and Sarasa Land that we actually saw in the movie, but they just didn't spend a lot of time there. So maybe this time we're not spending most of our time in the Mushroom Kingdom. We're visiting the other kingdoms and talking to the residents of those kingdoms as well, or at least we're not talking to, the, we're watching Mario talk to them. But yeah, I, I just want to see more of the other kingdoms make an appearance in this next movie. And of course, outside of the Koopalings and outside of Bowser Jr., there's characters like Wario and Waluigi and tons of other characters like Daisy, Rosalina that they could add and maybe even continue to add some that were there but just didn't have big roles like Pauline, for instance. But yes, this next movie is probably going to happen. It will probably be a very long time until we hear about it, at least a year or two. Um, but at the same time, it's just exciting to see how well that this first movie did that's going to open up the doors for not just another Mario movie, but for spin-offs such as Donkey Kong and Luigi's Mansion, and also possibly other Nintendo properties as well, such as Zelda, Metroid, and Kirby, which would be so freaking exciting. But thank you guys so much for tuning in. Make sure you leave a like and subscribe to stay up to date on all things Nintendo, and I will see you all on the next one. See you guys.